Okay, this is us at the end of a hard day, a rainy, dark, long practice at High Arena. Purposeful catch pacement, six four two. Gotta square it up early, making sure it gets right in square and hold on to it, Catherine. Waves coming out of the water, not fully buried all through the drive, so pull in high. Stay leaning into your rigger to keep the blade in the water longer. You see how that top like left oar as we're looking at it, the top left corner of your oar is coming out of the water. Oh, that one, it didn't even go in all the way. Maybe we get you a seat pad, maybe adjust your spacer, move it closer, lower, one from the bottom to the top. But making sure we're not losing any power application with uh, our blade out of the water. Fair burly dev, beautiful. Nice and direct to the water, can it? Yes. Dev, let's hold on to it. Just no popping up really horizontal, not letting horizontal through the water, not letting the blade wobble, not letting the blade come out early. Same thing, a little, yeah. You can see it pops out a little bit and then instead of waiting all the way to the finish where your hand is in draw line, your point is like slow, and you're not even, it doesn't look like necessarily you're sitting all the way through the body. So everyone pulling high through the body to hold the blade in the water longer. And that's something I pull on the today. Same thing with the hand. Blade coming out early. Like halfway through the drive with the finish, seven to ten. So, maybe sitting up taller at the finish, maybe a little less layback. want to think about lengthening out at the catch. So if we're longer through the water, the timing will match up better at the finish. Good solid core work fill it. Nice concentration all day. The uh, outside elbow up. Good. Nice finish position. Two with four. Really nice. 